It's gonna end in a tie, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Damn it. This is the lengthiest, like, intro to a chapter in the universe. Here we are again. Show Ziar the king what a nice Ithurstanese you've become. Thank you again, doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. <laughs> we can have tea. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Great. Let's get off the sludge, shall we? You fluffy kitty. Ah, yeah, you like that? <laughs> Here I am, a tree girl. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. <laughs> oh, let me see you. What a great Ithurstanese you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. Well, the water was already magic. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Palantras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. Ah, oh, okay. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha. -ha. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain Kotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. This whole thing is very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. <laughs> You're the king and you don't know? Follow the signs. I have to go now, randomly, but I'll be back in time to help you with the door. But I won't tell you where it is. Have a great Ithersta day and good luck finding the great wizard. Hi, Polantris or whatever your name was. Goodbye. That was good windmill things. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Polantris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Yay. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Kotram. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Well, we could go up these stairs, or we could go left. Let's go left. Ugh, there's that beetle thing. Um, I wonder if there's anything I can... What are these? Ooh, these flowers are huge. Let's sit on his throne. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. Got strawberries. Take a str... They look tasty, but I think I won't eat right now. You never eat, Fran. My goodness. Let's talk to this beetle thing. Ugh. No, no. You can't get in. It's closed. What's behind this passage? <coughs> well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? That's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. But why is the library closed, sir? <laughs> that thing in the background's ignoring me. Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around goes around the second moon of Ithersta, we open. Sure. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Of course. Of course. Thank you, bye. <laughs> You're not making any sense, but thanks. Alright, let's go this way. Alright. Got some more flowers. Haha, -ha, I think tiny bees would love these flowers and kiss them a lot. You're weird. Let's go through here. Okay, there's another thing we can talk to. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Just standing here, you see? Mount Kotram? Do you know where the mountain is? Yes. Where is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain Kotram is only in winter time. 
Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for winter. <laughs> oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Oh, sorry, but I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs, then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right, thank you, sir. Sure, what's this sign say? Oh, right, we can't read. That's right. Um, okay, let's go down the stairs. Oh, God. What did he say? Go, go straight? <laughs> I'm listening. I wasn't listening. Oh, look at the fishy. Can we get the fishies? Oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Yeah, let's go this way. There we go. All right. Clockmaker. That's a blacksmith. Let's talk to this weird thing. Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Why do you use fabric? For what purpose? Everybody is naked. Well, whatever you need it for. We also have thread for making other things. I see. Hmm. I have to go. Have a nice day. Maybe I'll need that. And what's this? Fruit? Hello. Ah, who is there? Who? Can't you see me? <laughs> me, Fran. Can't you see me? Oh my god, he's playing with butterflies and stuff back here. Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. What are you selling? <laughs> four eyes? I don't have. Only the very best plabas of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Lovely. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. Yeah, because you're a bug. <laughs> Makes everything grow and shine. I have to get going now. Good luck with the poo-poo. Bye-bye. Hi, you're a blacksmith. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. You... M oh, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And padam, I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Uh-huh. Let's keep going. I hear clocks. You must be the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Looking for a wizard. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find a great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick-tock. Mount Cotrum? The mountain Cotrum only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in mountain Cotrum. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. Okay, you'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. Okay, let's talk to these other people before we leave. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Ithersta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Ithersta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. And let's talk to this ant guy selling newspapers. Hello, lady. How does she know if they're boys or girls? Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Uh, what is Ithersta's language called? Don't you know? It's called Ithernish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ithersta. I hope you will have fun here. Thanks. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. All right, let's go back and go back and go down this pathway here to the clock. All right, now let's look at the clock. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? We don't need numbers. It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in Ithersta. Yeah, can I, can I, can I not change it? Okay, there we go. Oh, it sounds like something broke. It means something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? I don't know. 
This is not good. I don't know how to make this clock work. Why do you need numbers? Obviously, you get sp spring, fall, winter. Blue is obviously winter. I don't know. Let's go over here. I would like to borrow that boat. Yeah, sure. Okay, we got a deck here. Let's go this way. Hi. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They are a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons, for the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside, too, so we can fly. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. I can't figure out how to make the clock work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mr. Midnight, help. Did you find a golden coin for the clockmaker, dear? No? Nobody told me to find a golden coin for the clockmaker. No one at all. Alright, got this place boarded up and can't read the sign. Um, What? Hi. Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are Valokas. Oh, you are very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Valokas will receive the shield. My god. Aren't those... Isn't that like that girl that we saw in the woods like a million years ago? There you go. Got a nice little hat on now. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. And walk away. <laughs> we continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. And why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. That's why she's asking. Your path toward truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now and too strong to let it go. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, what the hell good does that do? Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. A tree that cries. Yes, Kitty, you're right. What the hell is all this? Oh, God. Is this a puzzle? Okay, well, I have no idea what to do with that, so let's just leave. Alrighty, let's go up here. Apparently I have to find a gold coin for the clockmaker, but nobody told me that. Maybe I should actually go go back to the clockmaker and be like, Yo, the clock don't work. Yo, the clock don't work. <laughs> Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have any. <laughs> The clock is broken on the tree. I can't make it work. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. I don't have anything to give you. I charge one big golden coin. Poor clock. Time is gold, you know. Oh, I don't have any coins. Hmm, then no clock will ever be fixed. But how can I get a golden coin? Look, there is a snail that loves to give gold away. Talk to him. Oh, that is great. Thank you, sir. Bye. Um, all right, let's keep walking this way and see if we find a snail before we go the other way. There's a snail. Hello. <laughs> Good day, young one. Um, can I sit down? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? This game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this some sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yes, yeah, sure. What are the rules? 
First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Um, alright. It's gonna end in a tie, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, he won. <laughs> Christ. I suck. There we go. I just took three or four tries. How many times do I have to keep playing this? Or, do, or can I stop whenever I want? Can I stop? I got my coin. I don't want to play anymore. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Not really. We just tied a bunch of times and then you won one. And then I won one. Bye-bye. I have your gold coin. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yeah, I know. Give him the gold... Oh, God. We gotta do this again? Here, a golden coin. <laughs> don't know why we had to have that conversation again. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Oh, sir, clockmaker. Would you like to fix my clock? Sounds like an innuendo. In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, uh, time. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Oh, my goodness. Bet I'll beat you there. <laughs> eh. Eh. No. Maybe you'll beat me there. Fix it. <laughs> hmm, you are right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Uh, whoa, whoa. Hmm, yes, hmm, oh there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. Ew, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral breaking a defenseless clock. Why would somebody break it? Kamalas, winter, mountain, Kotram, the stones, many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalas, the evil darkness. They work for Ramor, the terrible black, a.k.a. Krampus. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land, the only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones, but what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in the wintertime. Is Ramor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha, that is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mountain Cotrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm, well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Ooh, okay, cool. It's a remote control for the clock. You will be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. <laughs> Please, call me Cogwind. No, thank you. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Okay, and with the clock fixed and our little portable clock machine, I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, if you did enjoy this, please let me know in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I make content five days a week, and I play all sorts of games, from The Sims to Tomb Raider to Saints Row. You just have to look into um, my playlist to see all the things that I played and play. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.